Hey guys, so I know what you're thinking. You're like, wow, we didn't hear from her ever, and now she's doing videos back back to back, <laughs> same day. But um, before I really did, I just wanted, I was talking to my cousin, and um, he left the organization too, but he's never baptized. So he really, he just left. He just, well, he, no, he left years and years ago. He left when he was 16, 50 years old now. But he's just now realizing that they are not the true religion. I mean, he spent his whole life believing he was going to be destroyed. He spent his whole life believing that they were the true religion and that you had to be in that religion to be saved. Um, what triggered this understanding that they're, they are just a cult, that they're just another religion, that they're just a lie. Um, we actually went back uh, about a year ago. We started going back to the religion um, because he feared his daughter being destroyed in Armageddon. He didn't want his daughter to die during Armageddon. He couldn't imagine her being destroyed and not living forever. So he went back because his wife, obviously, um, my cousin Karen, she just wouldn't, she, she knew it was a lie. She never believed that she didn't want to be a part of it. So he decided that, you know, I'm going to take matters in my own hands. I want my child to live forever. I'm going back to the organization. Whether I live forever or not, I know that what I do will help save her. Same reasons I went. So he went back, and um, I didn't actually pressure him. I did talk to him about a few things. We laughed and joked about a few things. And he realized something when he was talking to the brothers. Um, he told me this. He said he was talking to a brother. And he said that, you know, the brother said to him, you know, we're living in the last days. And he said, well, wait a minute. We were living in the last days when I was a kid. In fact, it was the last days before I was born. Now I'm 50. You know, and he said, yeah. And he said, I know how you feel. And he said, I told my kids the same thing. You know, because he told the brother that, he wasn't supposed to graduate high school, wasn't supposed to, this was just someone's just left his own. He said, well, I remember telling my kids the same thing, and they're grown and they got kids now. I'm like, And so my cousin says, well, why do y'all keep telling people that? And brother response was, it keeps us on our toes living our life as if it is the last day. That is not Watchtower rhetoric. That's what they're telling themselves. But when it's Telling themselves it's better to live like whatever than that says because tomorrow is a promise anyway. But the truth is, it was a lie. It was a lie that was been passed on for generations and generations and generations. I guess, you know. Um, anyway, on to what we were discussing last night because he just was sitting there and he just was thinking um, because the brother, someone had told him that there were like 8 million Jehovah's Witnesses. According to the statistics for the 2013 yearbook, there is 7.78 million. That's almost 8 million Jehovah's Witnesses. That's roughly about 1% of the world population are Jehovah's Witnesses. Not much. Okay. Now, I'm just going to lower that down to 7 million Jehovah's Witnesses. They, if each Jehovah's Witness, and you know, if you're a Jehovah's Witness, you put more than a dollar in the contribution box. You don't leave that building without dropping something in there. It's, the box is sitting right there at the door. When you walk out, they collect contributions and donations for the magazine. You donate to the worldwide work, spreading the work, you know, building work and other things that you donate. And then they ask you for money for other uh, things too. People don't know about that. And it's always yay. They always go to collect the money. So. But let's say that everyone just puts a dollar, a freaking dollar in the contribution box. Oh, but you know that's not happening. People are dropping tens, twenties, and I know people that actually drop whole um, checks up in there, you know, in their contribution box. So I was a penny pincher. I only gave them 50 bucks a month. But that's roughly a dollar, well, a little bit more, but a dollar. Everyone, well, let's say it's a dollar. Um, <clears throat> her witness. This is um. 
I think this number is considered just adults that are baptized, not people that are studying, and not children. So that's $7 million every meeting. There's two meetings a week. That's $14 million in one year. That's over $700 million. That's a lot of freaking money. Where is it? Where is it going? What is it? You cannot seriously tell me it's going to these magazines because people pay for those too. People give money for that. Those donations going to buy. I don't say about half of them because some people just keep that money. Too. Where is that money? Where does that money go? Where is it? I, that's my whole question. We was just talking like, what? Where does this money go? I mean. It's crazy. Cause I'm like, that's a lot of freaking money. And um, nobody's getting paid. They own their buildings. They don't rent buildings. They own their buildings. Um, I know a light bill is not that big in all the buildings. And there are uh, a hundred, over 100,000 congregations. Um, each building for Jehovah's Witnesses usually hold about three congregations. So, you know, they only meet twice a week. The lights don't stay on inside the building. So where is the money going? You know, nobody gets paid. Uh, the work at the um, Watchtop Bible Track Society and Corporation is all done by volunteers. Uh, Paper doesn't cost that much. It costs something, but when you're looking at dollars and cents, it's normally probably just pennies on a dollar for paper and then the ink. And then the writers don't get paid jack. So that's not another expense. They don't have a lot of expenses. So where does it go? You know, and then they don't. They're not a, um, it's a religious organization, so they're tax exempt. Uh, I, I, I couldn't answer that question. I don't know where, where the money goes, you know. It's going in somebody's pocket. Question. I want to know, you know. What do y'all think? Comment below. Let me know what you think. Me and my cousin had this conversation. It's kind of like, dang. Money, there's more, and that's it. That's all I got. Sorry, <laughs> bye guys.